Hello, this is Ram Mirwani from Conrad Technologies. Today I'm here with my colleague Ivar Kizale, and we are going to demonstrate new capability that we have put together for the vehicle radar test system. Firstly, a short introduction to Conrad Technologies. We are a global supplier of automated test equipment. And we have experience lasting about 25 years in several different fields. We are also NI Platinum Partners. For today's demo, Ibars and I are going to showcase how we can use the NI VRTS system to demonstrate three objects on three angles scenario. That's going to be our focus. So the NI VRTS system, the new version goes up to support up to four gigahertz bandwidth. It enables input and appearance transmit signals as well for more robust testing. It continues on the capability for scaling multiple numbers of obstacles and angles, which is what we're going to demonstrate today. Uh, the new version is also optimized for production test um, and continues on a key differentiator that you can simultaneously simulate objects and perform RF measurements with the same platform and at the same time. Now, here are some of the key specifications for the NIVRTS platform. And one of the major improvements is the distance resolution that now goes down to five centimeters. Um, and also the published specifications for some of the other specifications, for example, the RCS range and RCS resolution, uh, that is uh, basically a more tighter capability that is being delivered with the VRTS. So for today's demonstration, we are going to be setting up three millimeter wave radio heads that are going to be aligned at boresight, zero degrees angle, plus and minus five degrees. And we have positioned it in, as shown over here, we've got two of them that are mounted in a higher level from a vertical positioning. And if you look at this image here, we've got boresight, which is going to be uh, shown where my mouse is right now. And above that, we've got plus and minus five degrees. And this gives us the three angles. We have a setup distance, 0 0.7 meters. And to set up the overall, uh, or to configure the overall uh, scenario, we have a software uh, that has been uh, created by Conrad Technologies. And then once we set up the scenario using our continental sensor that we have, the output of the sensor is then also tracked and monitored on another piece of software that we have created so we can do a stimulus response test capability. And this is the demo that we are going to be showing you today. And during the course of the demo, we are going to demonstrate how you can set up this scenario, how you could change different object simulation parameters dynamically uh, after you implement it, and then how you can also monitor the sensor behavior. And that's what we're going to be showing you today in this demonstration. So at this point, I'm going to transition over to IBARS. Thank you, Ram. As you mentioned, we have three targets at three different angle of arrival setup. Now I will demonstrate how we can control each target simulation. First, we are going to simulate the target at five meters with the zero degree. And as you can see on the screen at the right hand side, our radar sensor started to detect the simulated object. With our sensor reader program, we are able to plot detected object attributes individually, such as distance, velocity, angle, and radar cross-section volume. Now, i like to add another target in our simulation, which will be at minus 5 degree and 60 meters. Now, I put the simulated distance, 
And now it is also detected by the sensor and it can be seen in our X and Y plot and each subplots. Now time to add our latest target at plus 5 degree and 160 meters. And it is also immediately detected by the sensor. Now I'd like to demonstrate how we can control our target simulation parameters dynamically, such as distance, velocity, and RCS volume. In order to do that, I would like to decrease my simulated distance for the object at minus plus five degree. Now I change my simulated distance to 100 meters. And as you can see, the corresponding response. And now I like to add the Doppler effect. Now I change my simulated velocity for the object at minus five degree. And I show the velocity plot. And as you can see, the velocity reading. We can also change the simulated RCS value. Now I will decrease my simulated RCS for the object at the zero degree. And you can see the response of the detected object from the sensor. This is our demonstration. Now I'd like to hand over to Ram for final summary. Thank you, Ivars. So as Ivars has demonstrated, we have set up a test scenario today for three objects on three angles. We have dynamic control of setting up the scenario as we need, and we can dynamically change the parameters for the simulated objects. And we also have an interface that can capture the sensor performance uh, to implement very robust uh, testing of the uh, sensor capability. Now the NIVRTS platform and the Conrad radar test platform that we demonstrated is scalable uh, for multiple angle and multiple objects as you would need. So thank you very much for watching this video today. Uh, for any further questions, please feel free to contact us at Conrad Technologies. Thank you.